Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Savi the Unbreakable with 1,176 rating versus Geo Style 13 with 1,337 rating. So this is going to be another high rated DB match. Also, there are two matches in this video, and let's hop right in. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to see Savi when the rock, paper, scissors shoots. So they can decide if they want to go first or second. And looking at the deck counts, we have 48 versus 41. And then Savi's going to be going first. Opening hands, we have Dino Miscus, Graf, Tour Guide, Rhino Warrior, and Skarm. So good thing they went first. Um, yeah, they don't have like any hand traps or like enough traps to really break any board here. Uh, but going first, this is good. Uh, hopefully they don't start off with like a Tour Guide. Or, like, even, like, a Rhino Warrior, I feel like, just because, you know, that kind of plays into, like, Imper, Valor, and stuff like that. And they have Revolt, Kit, Tanky, Thoroughblade, and Bell. And then we are going to see our BA player start off with the Skarm effect. So it's Zoo Tribrigade versus BA. And then Normal Summon Out Graph, Overlay for Dante, and then Dante effect, Detach Skarm. Yeah, I, I was like, why are you detaching the Skarm? Like, you special summoned out Skarm. Like, that doesn't make sense. And then, go ahead and mill three. <laughs> Said nice mill. <laughs> and then, graph effect. And then, they're going to special summon out for the deck. Honestly, there wasn't that many, like, good mills there. And then, they're going to go for Anaconda. And then, you're going to be getting the Dante and Seer effect. Seer, wait. Seer Dante 1, Dante Seer 2. So, like, Seer Target Dante 1. I feel like that's really confusing. You could just say, like, Seer 1, Dante 2. Wait, why... Why did they mill 3 with Dante? Like, if you're playing the Dragoon package, like, you have a chance of milling one of these. And what are you going to mill that's good? I mean, like, a Backjack, a Rhino Warrior. Like, those cards aren't bad to hit. But, like really wouldn't want to hit one of these I guess like if you hit one of these you just go for like an IP play and then set pass draw order and then they're gonna go ahead and normal summon out thoroughblade it's dinomiscus is going to go in dinomiscus that you're gonna get rhino warrior effect and then this will go ahead and dump the skarm so it doesn't look like they're playing back jack. Or else that would probably have, like that would have been dumped there. Uh, I can't read what they're saying. Uh, I don't really know what language that is, but like this has just gotta be random letters. Like A A X A S W. Like there's no way that's like real words, right? Like this kinda looks like real words. I don't know, these kinda look like fake words. But, like, they're communicating with it. But, like, A-A-X-A-S-W. I don't believe it. Opening hands, we have Shifter, Rhino Warrior, Trap Trick, Needle Sealing, and Fiend Griefing. So, they do have the best hand trap going second. And then they have Order, Caress, Fractal, Revolt, Strike. Opens Order twice, by the way. Uh, they're not really going to be able to do much. They're going to Fractal Effect. And then, you know, go ahead, change Shifter, Dump Kit. And then go ahead, set some back row pass. Draw Strike. So they can't really do anything here. Pass, draw Fractal. Oh, that was a really good draw. And then they're going to go ahead and Fractal Effect, dump Nerval, and then Nerval Effect, grab Kit. And then flip Revolt, they can. Ooh, so... I think that you just let this go through. kind of weird that if they were just going to flip revolt that they didn't chain it to like nerve all effect but yeah you just let this go through um uh, i feel like that wasn't very good like they go ahead put back nerve all and then they're gonna dump i mean this doesn't really do much here but i feel like you could just let them summon omen and strike the summon and then they go ahead and, like, normal summon a Tri Brigade. And, like, you try Fiend Griefing them. If they, like, Ash Blossom you or something, then you just Trap Trick into another Interruption and then, like, out them that way. They're going to dump the Backjack 
Back check effect. They're gonna strike the first effect. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, there's no way. You definitely strike the second effect. Like, they're gonna put a trap to the top, right? And then if you strike that, they're drawing a trap and they're not drawing a starter. And, like, that's kind of what you'd want. And, like, now it can still go ahead and, like, potentially hit a trap off the top or, like, a Farfa, a Rhino Warrior. They're gonna strike the kit effect and then battle phase, go ahead and try to poke. And then backjack effect, and this will hit. Wow, it's gonna hit Dynamiscus. All right, that's that's pretty good. Go ahead, out the silver Rhino effect. So that's it for the first match. That was insanely quick. Yeah, literally seven minute long match. You see him lose and go ahead and offer a rematch. So going on to the second match, game number one, we are going to see the Tri Brigade Zoo deck decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Farfa, Rhino Warrior, Fiend Griefing, Dynamiscus, and Red Eyes. And then they have Imperm, Fractal, Kit, Desires, Thoroughblade. So start off with the Desires instead of like a, a Fractal effect. And then they banish a Nerval. Wow, oh, that's all they banish. They banish a Nerval. Wait, there was only one Revolt, right? Yeah, just a whole bunch of other traps near it. And then draws into a Imperm Revolt. And Fractal Effect to dump. They're going to dump Kit. Kit dump Nerval. Nerval Effect. Grab Karaz. And then Normal Summon Out Kit Effect. And that's going to banish two. Bring out Blossom. And then go for Omirage. And then Omirage Effect. And then activate Blossom. I feel like they should have done this before even like going into the Omirage stuff. And then Summon Out Karaz. Karaz Effect. Banish two. Bring out the Bear Bloom. Slap all those in the Appalooza, and then you're going to get those effects. Go search, put back, and then draw rat, and then put back, and then set for pass, draw seer. You know, like, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster would be pretty decent here, but Farfo effect, Appalooza negate, seer effect, and then Appalooza negate, normal summon Farfa, battle phase, try to attack over. They're going to let that go through. Main phase 2, set Fiend Griefing, Dynamiscus, Revolt in the end phase. And then summon out Omen. And then, you know, you're going to get Nerval, Omen effect, go search, banish Fiend Griefing, draws called by, normal summon out the kit. Then Dynamiscus at, Rhino 1, called by 2. And then Revolt, and they admit defeat. So. Going on to match two, game two, we are going to see Savi, the BA player, go first. These have been like some insanely quick games. Opening hands, we have Seer, TT, Judgment, Dynamiscus, Judgment, so they don't have two BAs. Um, it's really unfortunate. Like, Seer plus another BA still like lets you combo, but they just didn't draw here. And then they have Imperm, Thoroughblade, Desires, Called By, and Fractal. So... They're going to go ahead and set four pass. They draw Ash Blossom. Then start off by activating Desires. Then this goes through. Draws into a tanky barrage. Let's see what they banish. Nervals, two Nervals. Oh, they do play Night Beam and Twin. So two Nervals, a Karaz, and a Rat. And then activate Barrage. Effect, pop, and then bring out Thoroughblade, and then Thoroughblade effect, discard Thoroughblade, and draw into a Karaz. And then summon out Borbo, battle phase, attack directly, so they're just letting this go. And then Chalkanine, on Chalkanine summon Flip TT, and then activate Tanky, search out Fractal. And then Fractal effect. Dump the last Nerval, and then Nerval effect to go search, grab kit. And then normal summon out kit. Yeah, go ahead and judgment the summon. Then, oh yeah, they definitely did life points wrong there. Um, then get rid of Fractal, summon out Karaz. And then Dynamiscus smack that. And then they are going to set pass. Set tour guide, please. I mean, it's not even good here, because, like, oh, I guess, I guess. Are they going to Ash or Imperm? I feel like 
they are going to ash as if they uh, uh I guess that plays in the fiend griefing but like this fiend oh that, that's rough if they imperm this then yeah they can judgment or they could have dinomiscus then bring out rhino then overlay for dante like i highly doubt that they actually play something like uh like a, a link spider but if so, then that could have uh, done something there. Go for Dante. And then they're going to go battle phase, attack. So just setting up a strong Zeus here. Go downward and then Zeus. And then end phase, Zeus effect. They're going to chain called by, hit the Dante that they detached. And then pass, draw twin. And then pass, draw order. Uh, that's not bad they're gonna go ahead and set that like obviously they're not gonna use this here but let's say they drew like a, a tanky like if they activate tanky yeah like, there, there's no way they draw anything good like a desires maybe a desires chain link one order chain link two, two twin chain link three then like you know zeus gets to equip and that just makes this even more deadly Draw Rhino Warrior, and that's game. So, moving on to game three of match two. We are going to go ahead and see our Tri-Brigade Zoo player decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Fiend Griefing, Order, Libic, Tour Guide, Rhino Warrior. So, uh, this isn't bad. And then they have Ash, Called by, Revolt, Order, and Nerval. Their hand isn't super great though they're gonna go for Amirage, Nerval, Fractal, Fractal, Dump Kit, Kit, Dump Nerval just to set up a good revolt. They draw Dinomiscus. Then activate the Libic effect to bring itself out. And then normal summon out the Rhino Warrior. I think it's like super obvious that they have like a revolt so uh, and then they are thinking here, they're going to get rid of those two to go for a Cherubini. And then Rhino Effect, they're going to chain Revolt. And then go ahead and chain the Called By, and that's going to hit the Rhino Warrior. So then go ahead, you know, summon all 4 back, get rid of them for Omen. And then you're going to get Omen, Nerval, banish the Cherubini, and go search out Kit. And then set some cards, pass turn. Draw anti-spell. A lot of these cards just aren't doing anything. Like order anti-spell. They really don't do anything versus this deck. Uh, normal summon out kit. I think that this deck, uh, instead of anti-spell, I think they should be playing judgments. For sure. Um, not just because like, oh, the BA matchup. But just like in general, I think judgments is just better right now. And then Fiend Griefing. They're going to chain Ash Blossom to negate that. And then Dynamiscus hit Kit. Also, I have stuff in my eye. This is rough. Then go ahead and poke. And then they're going to pass. Draw Alec. That doesn't do anything. And then they're going to pass. Draw Barrage. And then activate Barrage. Effect Chain Order. Go ahead and get poked. Yeah, this is not looking good for BA here. Uh, draw Rhino Warrior. You know, take 700. Set Rhino. Pass. Draw Valor. And then... They're just going to go battle phase, beat over Rhino, and then Rhino effect. This is going to dump Graph, and then Graph effect, special summon out Seer. So, it's actually, now now it's not it's not looking bad, really, because, like, they can just go ahead, you know, they take, uh, well, they don't take 700 from order, but this destroys itself. Then Alec effect, special summon itself out, and go ahead, overlay those for Dante, and then they're going to use Dante Effect to mill 3. Alright. And then they are going to get said so let's go. Yeah, they're going to be getting effects here. And then they are going to Graph 1, Seer 2, Farfa 3. And then they're going to Farfa hit the Omen, bring back out the Libic. Graph's going to bring out Barbar. So... Sign to bring out Barbar over something like a Skarm. And then go ahead and they are going to poke for some good damage here. We know this sets her order and anti spell, so nothing's stopping them. And then, oh, this should be in defense. 
uh, just because that's what Dante does. And then go for Zeus, the Zeus effect. Yeah, detach, chain Veiler, and then they're going to chain Zeus effect to wipe. And then they're going to be getting effects here, Barbar -bar and Dante's. So go ahead, banish, burn, and then add back Seer, and add back Barbar. -bar. And then set TT, Omen comes back from Farfa, draw Ash. Uh, there's just nothing that they can draw to actually win this. Unless if it's like Desires into something good. And then they're going to set Ash, pass, draw Strike. Um, we got normal summon out Seer. That will go to the graveyard. If they play Pilgrim, it's just game. Yeah, bring out Dante, discard Beatrice, and then um, they can bar bar burn if they want to. They're so. Oh my gosh, they just banished the only cards that let them go for game. Like, you just switch this to attack, right? Zeus is now in attack position. You have Beatrice, and then you go ahead, you Beatrice, attack Omen. You take 500, you're still at 100, that's plenty of life points. You get Dante, Beatrice, summon Pilgrim, add back Farfa. Pilgrim can beat over the set if you want to, or you can play it like super safe. You could Zeus crash in the Omen. Cool, they go search. Pilgrim, discard Farfa, draw Farfa, hit the set, Pilgrim attack directly, and then that's game. Um, I mean, it should just be game here anyways, but still, go ahead and attack. And I guess like, you would also get like Zeus effect that way, but that just wouldn't matter. Go ahead, Beatrice effect, and then dump Farfa, you're going to get those effects, and they admit defeat. So, let's go! <laughs> uh... Yeah, that was a uh, a strange match. A strange match. You know, they ended up milling uh, pretty good. You know, like the Farfa graph. You know, you love to see it. Uh, sided and Droll versus this deck. They probably just don't have many hand traps. Uh, probably don't main deck any. If they do, it's not a lot. Uh, this looks a lot like the uh, the Gabriel uh, Vargas list that was being thrown around like months ago. At least it was months. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a while ago now. Wow, like six months ago. But for two matches, wow, for two matches, it was only 30 minutes. Usually one match takes like a little over 30 minutes. So not bad. And we do see BA win both matches, by the way, over the Tri Brigade Zoo player. Uh, that is not a good look for them. But it happens the decks like ba honestly just like the decks that you're not prepared for like the random rogue decks or the decks that you'll end up losing to just because like your deck's not built to beat those decks your deck's built to be meta but yeah so, so you can't be too mad when you end up losing to something like this when you lose two matches in a row definitely uh is unfortunate but you can't like take it to heart and not really much more to say here. Uh, make sure to use my TCG player affiliate link, my Imperium Duelist code, or become a channel member. Any money I make off of those goes directly back into the channel through giveaways. Also, I'm going to be revealing the giveaway winner in the next video So for the Ash Blossom. So make sure to watch the at least the start of that. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.